Hello world. Today is November 8th, 2023, and looking out the window at Defiance, it's kind of an overcast, rainy morning this morning, and I think it's going to be kind of that way for um, much of the day. Not really rainy, but just kind of overcast, uh, but warmer still, and the temperatures are expected to be in the 60s. The devotion for today is entitled Enough for Today, written by Vicki Kemper, and Vicki bases the devotion upon Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, New Revised Standard Version Updated Edition. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. And then Vicki writes, Privileged person that I am, hopeful person that I am, person of faith that I am. I used to hate this verse. Today is not about trouble, I insisted. Why would Jesus say that? Today is a gift. Every day is a gift. Easy for me to say. But for some folks, today is a bottomless trunk overflowing with troubles, much like yesterday and the day before. And tomorrow doesn't look much better. Gratitude and mindfulness can be soul-nourishing spiritual practices. But to not think about what's coming because today is too overwhelming, because we're not sure we're even going to get there, that's the struggle for survival, which is its own kind of spiritual practice, and the people who flocked to Jesus knew it well. Many of our neighbors and siblings live it too, which is probably why Jesus named it, even as he tried to draw people away from fear and worry and toward the one who feeds the birds, clothes the lilies of the field, and hears the cries of the poor. I don't know what your day holds, and I can't possibly know what will be happening in Israel, Gaza, Washington, my town, my family, or my own life on this day, weeks after this was written. All I really know, all any of us can hope to trust, is that God's love holds it all. May that be grace enough, hope enough, and faith enough for today. And Vicki's prayer. When everything seems both too much and not enough, when I'm under-resourced and overwhelmed, remind me to seek first you and your love, you and your justice. Amen. A lot of things went through my mind as I was reading this devotion. And what is, yeah, generally speaking, I have an easy life, um, I think. I and mean, there's aspects of it that sometimes are difficult. But generally speaking, it's not that, that difficult of a life. It's a pretty easy life. Um, and usually when I am worried or concerned, it's about either something that has already happened, something I did, something I said, and a situation I was involved in, um, or it's fretting about the future. I mean, I'm looking at retirement in April next year, and um, there's lots of things pressing on me thinking about that. Um, as we also get ready to move back to the Detroit area. Um, so thinking about those things, is, I guess it's in a place of privilege. I have the privilege to not be worried about today itself. Uh, and maybe that's what Jesus was trying to get to, is the, the people who are really struggling, who don't know what tomorrow will bring, just get through one thing at a time, get through today. And I guess that kind of reminded me of <clears throat> work, <clears throat> excuse me, working with someone who uh, suffered from bipolar uh, disorder, um, who when they were in their depressed state, um, struggled to get through just today. And we would often talk and I would encourage the person to find one thing, a thread to hold on to, to accomplish, to get through just today. That was all he could do, and that's all that was required, was just simply hanging on and getting through. Luckily, I've never really been in that kind of a situation specifically. Um, I mean, I've been in, been in some severe depths of despair uh, and struggle. And um, just had to take each moment as it came. And I think that's what Jesus was trying to get at. <clears throat> but then also maybe that thread 
that uh, gets us through those days is just knowing that we are not alone and that we are a beloved child of God, that um, maybe other people in this world love us and, and care about us. Um, those are my thoughts for today. Yours may be different from this um, devotion, and that's the nature of devotions. So I hope you have a good day. Probably bring an umbrella with you today if you go out, and hope to talk to you soon.